We've come out to Kumu on this rainy Auckland day to visit our friends Wayne and Anita, who have really mastered the art of intentional downsized living. This may look like your average furniture moving truck, but wait until you see what's on the inside. Hi. Hi. Welcome. We were fresh in a new relationship and we considered the various options that we had for living and um, really wanted to have a simple life um, without the demand of um, financial overcommitment and came up with the idea of of a mobile home. What a beautiful space. Yeah. This is just lovely. And it's incredibly warm in here as well. You've got the fire. Yeah, yes. we've warmed it up for you. <laughs> and we've I've got um, halver in the pot and um, pine cones in the in the fire. And it's got a um, this is the, the fire side oh, of it. Beautiful. Um, and this is the oven side of it, which we are yet to experiment with. We're um, drying out wood at the moment. <laughs> and we've got to be really careful because it gets so hot that the wood catches fire sometimes. Oh, right. Um, but it's great because it's a small fire, so we hardly use any wood. We were at our um, friend's place last night and I got a big wood burner and I told them the wood that they had just stoked the fire with we would take three days for us to use. Yeah. So we got this incredibly economic fire and because the space is small it, and it's well insulated, it heats up so toasty. Yeah. So we only need it on for two hours in the evening and and that's it. And a kitchen as well? Yes. Yeah, nice we beautiful a, kitchen space. Have, beautiful countertops and yeah. beautiful wood everywhere isn't it? Yeah, the, the, the wood finishings in um, various places are part of what make the space um, rich to be in, it's like because of the beauty in it and so even though it's a small space it's a beautiful space which I think is important to to feel the to be nourished by the aesthetics of the of the space it's not stark and and you know it doesn't when you're in here it doesn't feel like you're in the box of an ex furniture truck <laughs> no you're absolutely right it doesn't and I mean certainly like these beautiful windows just open everything up as well don't they that really helps um i love the skylight as well in here guys yeah. as well that's really something special yeah we've got a, our double glazing for the the winter we put this perspex up um to keep the heat in and yeah it's 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 one of the big assets you know being able to look up at the sky and just when you when you're in a small space being able to have your vision go out um, reduces that sense of um, enclosure. Yep. So the, you know, often when we're lying down, to be able to look out is, um, is a real asset. You're really close to nature, to the elements, because if it rains, you really be, are close to the rain. You open the door and you're right out. And a lot of things I had before, I had to give away. So it's really, it's a, it's a limitation, it becomes you don't have so much anymore. And for the relationship, I think it's, it's really you emerge together and you move like, yeah, in the same energy field. Yeah, yeah we, um, we're really aware of that we spend a huge amount of time together. And I think we're lucky because our relationship is, is, is relatively new, so we're still really enjoying each other's company. <laughs> and the environment changes all the time. It's, it's um, you know, we, we have a really enjoyable and interesting um, life where we're in different places and we're stimulated and fed and sustained by that. Um, so we don't, we don't need a lot of um, noise and, and activity in our life when we're in the space. And, but it does require a still mind. You know, if your mind's getting agitated, then there has to be some way to be with agitation in a small space. Because you're not go, you can't go to another room, you know? So just, and so we're, we're, we're really into the, 
into the um, awareness of being being very present to what's going on in, in this moment and not holding on to to a lot of stories that normally are what get us all tangled up in conflict and so yeah and if we need to we go for a walk <laughs> and often we're, we're, we're by beautiful places to walk in so it's that is a nice release so um toilets and showering and that sort of thing how do you guys get around that mm. we have a toilet tent and a, a portal and here we have we ha pulled it up there but the heavy wind blowed it away so in the moment it's in the shade house right. <laughs> <laughs> we we chose to have space that was that was we intentionally did that like most of the motorhomes people have have all of their internal bathroom all their bathroom internally and and you have no space there's no space at all so we we specifically knew we wanted space we wanted to be able to do things in our space and not be sort of restricted just to a little seat by a table and so the toilet tent works well because we're in different places we're able to use different amenities um, in different places and there's 102 ways to shower <laughs> <laughs> my favorite is a hot kettle <laughs> um, it's incredible you know uh, how much we're conditioned to feel we need all of these things but it's and it's also incredible how quickly um, you can adapt and it's lovely in the morning when the when the light comes out just walk out to the toilet and just be be in the day yeah when it, when it arrives the, we're integrating a Mm. Uh, a, a more slower pace into our life and that that takes time it takes time to come out of that that conditioning of having to feel like you've got to cram lots of activity into into short periods of time and that's that's a big change to a culture that demands us to be so often so stressed in our, in our relationships and in our work and everything that we do has to, has to have that degree of, of um, busyness and so we're sort of doing the opposite. When you, when you look um, out in the world there's so much that tells you that's how, how you should live or that's how you, you feel fulfilled when you live like this and, and so, so many forgot that there's something else, maybe they, they still feel there's you know, some searching for something, but it's so covered with all the information we have. I think when, when more and more people live in a freer or a lighter way, people think, ah, oh, yeah, that's, that's other ways too. And it's possible, it's not only a dream or an illusion, it's really possible and it's livable. I think, it's, is it possible to, to genuinely be happy in life? You know, it's not so much, is it, is it possible to pay off my mortgage? <laughs> you know, is it possible to have a, you know, have a new whatever? It's something, is it, is it can, can I live with peace in life? Can I, can I truly be joyful about the way I live? And, and that question, I think, is, is, is coming out of people's, um, questioning the material paradigm, questioning you know, is, do I want to be that enslaved to, uh, to, to debt and is, is, there a, is there another way of living? And so people that we're meeting are opening to living in small, simply living in smaller space, you know, living in a place that they can own. It's not the, the big home, but it's still a home. You know, we love our home. We absolutely love it. It's a beautiful space, you know. I, I look at my floor. <laughs> I go, what a beautiful floor! And uh, you know, I don't know. It's uh, and then I look at Anita. I go, what a beautiful woman! And it's like, you know, what could you ask for? What more could you ask for? A beautiful floor and a beautiful woman. <laughs> <laughs> so simple is life. <laughs> so we we've really stripped it down to. A lot of, a lot, you know, because in, in essence we are nourished by our human contact and materialism has, has divided us. It's put us into, it's put us into, um, and, and into, into such corners where all, 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 
all we're surrounded by is is our material acquisition and our, you know our people are sort of pushed into different rooms and with all their distractions and so we've stripped all that back and we've just got each other and a little bit of a beautiful home and so we're coming back to something very human at this stage we're um we're discovering a, a, a part for me anyway a part of me that has never really been deeply nourished um, and i'm starting to experience the possibility that i can be happy and joyful and peaceful in my life i am actually it's not about a matter of can i am <laughs> well i think you guys have created a magical space here and you you know you guys have an absolutely beautiful life together yeah thank you guys very much for sharing yeah. it with me you're welcome lovely to meet you <laughs> yeah thank and we you. will now now share helva with you yeah for me, what Wayne and Anita have accomplished is something truly special. It's an insight into a different and more simple way of life. It makes me ask the question, how could all of our lives potentially be improved if we actually followed some of these simple philosophies and found ways of simplifying our life, making it less about money, less about stress and more about the things that are truly innately important to us as human beings? I think that's a lot to think about.